Is there intelligence that has come to light that we perhaps don't know about that has prompted this move? The capability um, for the terrorists to actually put a hole in the plane was seen last year, as you've just explained, um, with the plane out of Mogadishu. That to me looked like a training run, a test run, and now they, that particular bomb maker is, has been looked on as very successful. So the, the ability to put a laptop into someone's possession into any port in the world to get on a plane is now there. Mm. So it's a very serious situation. But uh, you've got to ask that that's okay. That's fair enough. That's flying from those countries. Uh, from those countries, you'll then pass through potentially a hub airport. Yeah. Uh, and so, so it, 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 I would assume then this is just the beginning because it'll be rolled out throughout the world. Well, we've been told it's temporary, and let's hope it is. Because well, they the... said the, they said the liquids, uh, 100 mils liquids, yes. was going to be temporary. And that was, <laughs> God knows how many. Yeah. Years ago. But I, I think that everything's risk-based. So what they've tried to do is create a playing field to take away the worst risks of uh, where airside is not secure anymore or where they think the terrorists may be heading with these types of devices but for the business travel travelers and first-class travelers my concern for the airlines is I don't think and I've been talking to Simon about this about whether there's been a proper consultation with the airlines because aviation economics now are really fragile the effect is going to be enormous on income because it's no longer a flying office yeah. So we're going to have to see what the airlines and governments can come up with. Final word, Simon. Yeah, well, look, as with all these things, you simply have to adhere to the rules, but if you can possibly get away with leaving it at home, if you're going off to lovely Turkey or Egypt this summer, then do, and that means that there's, um, you're minimising the danger that uh, these unfortunate new rules um, may impinge upon your holiday. But remember, flying is incredibly safe, and we're very lucky in Britain, which has the best aviation uh, safety in the world. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much.